What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here in the spirit of things. It's Christmas time, okay? It's mid-December. I'm all about the glowy vibes. And it just so happens to be almost pitch black outside. Not just because the sun goes down super early, but because it's a really crappy day outside. So I thought, you know what? We need some holiday cheer in here. You got Santa up in the background. We got not one, but two Christmas trees going on here. And you know what? I'm feeling chill. <laughs> I'm feeling real chill. Speaking of chill, Young LA is dropping a ton of new sweats this month. We're looking at a ton of casual pieces, cozy hoodies, plush sets. Athleisure in a nutshell is what we have here today. Are you guys ready for some cozy girl vibes? Then you've come to the right place. So these pieces in today's video are dropping December 13th, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And as always, my code Ashley G does what it does, which gives you 15% off site-wide on every order, doesn't matter it's a 15% discount for you. Also helps me out as well, goes towards supporting this channel to keep these hauls and reviews coming your way. We are all about help over hype here on this channel. So my main goal is to help you out, let you guys know what you're in for with these launches. Let's dip and dive into what Young LA has in store for us this month. You know Young LA, they're really big into their cargoes, right? This time around is no different. They're coming out with brand new cargoes. We're looking at the color eucalyptus, so it's like sagey green, black, this off-white cream color. I think they had a really nice name for this. It was like oatmeal or frothy almond milk or something along those lines. <laughs> It's birch and coffee beans, so a nice dark brown color, all very earth tone. I have everything in today's video in my true size small, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. It depends on the piece. Let's talk about the cargos. Now these automatically look baggy and oversized. They are in some places, okay? I would give it a relaxed fit overall, but some places not so much, like the groin. So right around the booty, right at the groin, I'm feeling a little bit of snugness riding up in the crotch area ever so slightly. The waistband's a little bit big on me. Now don't get it twisted, they do have adjustments on the side. However, they didn't really work well for me, so I wasn't really able to utilize it. This is something I think if you really wanna grab it, you might wanna prepare yourself and have a belt ready to go with it. I really couldn't get these clamps to work. I'm not even kidding you. It wasn't just me being lazy. I really tugged at it. I had Bay tug at it. They were kind of useless for me, <laughs> not gonna lie. When I squat, you do see a gape. If I had a belt, which I didn't have one in this video, but if I did, I don't think it would be a problem. This isn't quite high-waisted. It's more low to mid. Depends on how long your torso is. So with me, I have a very short torso. I would say it came up mid-waisted. You have two very deep pockets on the side. You have two very real pockets on the back that do have a button closure. You also have two very large side pockets down the leg that don't just fit one, but two phones if you wanted to. They're huge. What's really unique is that they added in a cuff at the end. They tend to do these with their cargos. I didn't notice this till the last second. I said to myself, what the hell is that? I was like, is this fraying on the bottom already? I was about to get real peeved real fast. Then I noticed, I said, this is an actual draw cord. Cinch it in, tighten it around the ankle, which is great because I'm 5'3". Without chunky sneakers, these are dragging on the floor. I'm not about to relive my 90s childhood experience of always getting my pant cuffs wet. And then it just seeps up the leg. That's how I used to just spend my entire day in school, just completely soaking wet. Do I like the way it looks cinched up? Eh, I actually preferred it the other way. But as long as I wear chunky sneakers, I'm good. Then I'm gonna have to wear chunky sneakers. Now the material, we have to talk about that. They always do cargoes just in different styles and materials. This time around, I can't say I'm in love with this material because there's virtually no stretch. Now, I didn't really feel a problem around the knees as much as I did in the hips. These are 100% cotton. You know what that means, right? That means it's stiff in certain places. It's very baggy from the knees down, <laughs> little snug at the hips, and then loose around the waist. So I would say stick to your true size based off your own measurements. If you have larger hips, larger glutes, you might feel a little snugness in certain areas. But other than that, true size. So out of this entire launch off the bat, this isn't exactly an item that I'm loving. In fact, to be honest with you, their travel cargos were my absolute favorite. They were lightweight, roomy. I mean, I wore them so much this summer and that was mostly polyamide and elastane. So a huge difference from these. Now granted, I know that these are meant for more of a winter 
cargo pant. I get that. They're more insulating. They're definitely heavy duty, good quality, but I need some stretch in my pants. Usually if there's no stretch in it, then there's no ash in it. Now, to go with these cargos, up to you. You don't have to, you can wear it with whatever you want, but they modeled it on the site this way. We have one arm tank tops. This is more of an evergreen color, so a lot more saturated, very pretty winter color. We have basic white, we have black, and we have coffee bean, so dark brown again. Now this is your basic tank top, just without the other shoulder strap. There's a very thin ribbing throughout this entire tank top, not as stretchy as I thought it would be. When I first put it on, I was like, oh, I pictured this being extremely stretchy, and I was dead wrong. This is more of a midi tank, so not a full-on crop, definitely not full length. The white is certainly see-through. Wear something underneath it. I really do think that these tops are meant for more casual, more loungy, so you could wear it hanging around the house kind of thing. If you're really moving around and lifting your arms, eventually your toddy's gonna make its way out. I don't know about the whole bra department. I think you're gonna have to wear knit pads or a bandeau bra underneath. If you can get away with doing that, then this would look really cute with the cargos. They styled it wonderfully together. For me personally, a little too high maintenance. If the other strap was here, I would love it. And if it was a little longer in length, I feel like I would get more use out of a basic tank if it had a little length to it. They're dropping what I believe is their best hoodie yet. These are the Bella sweater hoodies. If I were you, and there's anything in this launch that I'm going to say you just really should try, it's the Bella hoodie. The Bella is Bellissima. <laughs> I messed that one up. They're dropping these in the color oatmeal. Right, so a very, very light beige. There's almost an undertone of a light gray too. So I would give it a grayish. We also have black pistachio green and brown. Well, you can't go wrong with black. All right, that can go with anything. A pair of black leggings, full black look, hell yeah. I personally really love the pista- The pista- <laughs> Please tell me I didn't get my lipstick on that because now my lips feel drier. <laughs> like it just wiped it all off. <laughs> I personally love these two colors. This is a real heavy duty knit fabric hoodie. There's no plush inside. It is just that fabric, that knit fabric all throughout. This is like if my grandma knitted me a sweater. It doesn't feel like yarn. It doesn't have that feel to it. It's mostly cotton based, but there is some polyester as well. So it is very warm. When worn, this has the perfect slouchy look to it. It looks super carefree, like a Baja sweater. You know what I mean? Like you're just about to like crush it on the beach. Now I know that a lot of young LA's hoodies tend to have that heavy hood syndrome. This one, not so much. I'm not saying it's non-existent, but it definitely doesn't have it like a lot of their other hoodies. This overall just fits better. This just has a more comfortable fit for all day wear in my opinion. I'm obsessed with this. You could totally size down in this if you wanted to. It has a very oversized slouchy fit. I love my size small, so I'm keeping it as is. It does have a full kangaroo pocket, ribbed cuffs around the wrists, which also allows the hoodie to just overflow over it. This way it gives it an extra slouchy look. If you're somebody who's more interested in sweat sets that are shorts, Okay, you love your short sweats, you love your crop pullovers. They're also dropping this style as well. We are looking at the colors barely beige, cashmere blue, and black. Now, these are plush fleece. This is the first time we're seeing in this drop actual plush cozy items. So these are a raw cut. You're gonna see on the bottom of the shorts, you're gonna see on the bottom of the crop that these are raw cut. So there's no seam holding it together. This will make it roll up. I noticed it especially on the sweater on the back. Something about these shorts though, they are very tight around the groin. They ride up on me. I needed to size up in these and I had no clue. This is your PSA if you're interested in these shorts. Do yourself a favor and size up, especially if we have similar measurements, like if you're a little bit thicker in the glutes, <laughs> then you might wanna size up. Your cooter will thank you. They do all come with corresponding half zip pullovers, high neck collar. These are super cropped though. It does go from a high to a little bit lower in the back. These have a huge huge drop sleeve, so the seam is literally at your bicep. It hangs low. Make sure you're wearing something cute underneath. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Because when you lift your arm up, even the slightest bit, you're going to see what's underneath. So on these crop pullovers, you do have the corresponding matching logo, but you also have on the back, right below the neck, the Young LA text written out as well. A lot of embroidery, so nice quality overall, but they went with that raw cut that gave it a little bit of edge. I would definitely keep my true size in the top, 
If you're in between, I do think you can get away with sizing down if you wanted to, but do keep in mind that front tends to be showy. And I don't know how much you're looking to show, girl. So you might actually wanna consider sizing up if that's an issue. Maybe it'll cover you a little bit better. Let's chat about your basic cozy college girl sweats. If you're not a fan of plush lining, eh? you feel like you're just suffocating in it, you're like, no thanks. You want something a little more sporty, something you can wear over a gym set to the gym, check out the campus joggers, see? They're called Campus. Fun fact, I just had Bay double check what the actual name was when he said Campus. I was like, oh my God, there you go. I knew that this just felt like a college girl fit. I've been there, might've dropped out, but I've been there. Black, blue, green, and white, which I'm wearing right now. Very simple color palette. Ooh, ooh. These are definitely, I'm going to the library at nighttime to study. These are overall very comfortable. They don't ride up in the groin like those shorts, thank goodness. However, if they were any smaller, I feel like they would start too. So with that being said, stick with your true size or size up. I wouldn't go the other way, I just wouldn't. Sweats mean something to me. They're part of my vocabulary. They're a huge part of my wardrobe. I wear them mm, at least five to seven days a week. No exaggeration. If I'm not in my gym wear and actively working out, I'm usually in sweats. So these are 100% cotton sweats. There's not a lot of stretch in them at all. Like there's none at all. See that? No stretch. Especially in the waistband, it's okay but it's not crazy. There is a three tier cinched waistband. So it's fairly thick. It also has an internal draw cord. So you can tuck it in, no one sees it. You can pull it out if you like that style better. What I like though, even though these are 100% cotton, I can comfortably squat in them. They're not tight around the knees. They're not tight around the groin, like the cargos that you saw. These are pretty comfortable in my true size. Do keep in mind, these do not come with a matching hoodie. I would have loved to see them come with a matching hoodie because I love this style. I adore this style. Now, this is a printed logo. Everything else you've been seeing has been a sewn on logo. Very embroidered, very sophisticated. This is a very casual printed logo. Look at this long form text. This is so big and bulky. This is completely collegiate style. So they definitely nailed that style. I just would have loved to see a matching hoodie because I'm all about matching sweat sets these days. I hate having mismatched sweats. That bothers me. We are closing the show with matching sweat sets. That is what I am all about. These are the Teddy hoodies and the Teddy joggers. I like these bottoms more than any of the other bottoms. And here is why. First and foremost, come on now. Come on now. You can't beat that. You just can't. I need my sweats to hang on for dear life around my hips. I need them to literally be fingertip hanging on. No snugness. The less I feel, the better I feel. Now, these are full on plush lining sweats. So if you're looking for a full on matching set, you can literally cozy up in this season. This will be it. And on top of that, they did add in the embroidered logo. Now this has a different academic feel thanks to these laurels here. Look closely, this looks Ivy League to me. Whereas the campus joggers, they were more sporty. These feel a little more academic, okay? Like you're gonna put on a pair of reading glasses, just cause. And you will get straight A's in this. <laughs> I'm gonna take that part out because I can't guarantee you will. These pieces actually have the most color variety as well. We have barely beige, black, coconut milk, cashmere blue, moss green, and vintage taupe. When it comes to the joggers, the branding is the YLA with the laurels around it. The hoodie, however, woo! You ready to see this? This branding's insane because you not only have the long form text at the front, but you also have this massive logo on the back which has that carpet feel, I like to call it. It literally like a, like a piece of carpet was just taped to the back here. I think the sewn in laurels and the outline, it is really pretty beige gold. It's like a satiny, silky stitching that they used is so, it, it's so luxurious looking. It really is. It gives, what's this freaking lint doing on here? <laughs> You're ruining it. <laughs> it gives such a luxurious look to a sweat set. Sometimes I like to wear very casual, like the campus sweats, where I'm obviously like, I'm to the gym and back. 
but when I really want to dress up a sweat set, sometimes I really prefer nice stitching, nice colors, sweats that look like they were really thought out. Given that these have a plush lining, these are naturally going to be thicker than the campus joggers. Now, sizing, when it comes to these, I actually think that these joggers fit the best right around my groin. I'm not feeling any issues. It's not like they have a ton of stretch either. They don't, but there's just more room where I prefer it in these. These have a better fit. The waistband is smaller. It's not so thick. This is the style I gravitate towards. Most important part, these don't feel heavy, like they're weighing down my body, except for the heavy hood syndrome. I do feel it on the hoodie. Young LA has that heavy hood syndrome and it's no different in this. So the only nitpicking thing about this is that heavy hood. If it wasn't for that, these would literally be a 10 out of 10 for me. I'm sticking to my true size small. I think if you're in between, these would be the only joggers you could get away with sizing down in if you're in between. Let me know if you have any questions about anything I shared with you in today's video. And if you're a fan of Young LA and this is your first time here, definitely consider subscribing. We tend to review Young LA at least once a month when their new drops hit. This way you always know what you're looking at with each and every launch. Thank you all so much for being here. I love you and I will catch you in my next video.